Okay, today I have a quick video for you to show the progressions and how to do our headstand. So we're gonna start off with our teddy bear stand and then we're gonna work up to a full headstand and show a couple different ways to get into it and how we can make it a little bit more challenging and a little bit more impressive. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Before we get started, really important, we do need to be warmed up and ready to go. So I recommend that you do a nice quick warm up. It can be like 25 jumping jacks, 30 high knees, maybe some V snaps. And then when you're done that, let's do a light stretch with our neck and our wrists and our shoulders. These will be really great for your headstand. Um, you can do these light stretches before and after, I would recommend. All right, now let's get to it. So here I'm demonstrating that we want our hands and our head to create a triangle position. So I'm holding my hands out and then I'll place my head as the tip of the triangle. What it would look like on the floor is this, hands side by side, shoulder width apart, and head goes down as the top point. Here you can see my arms are at a 90 degree angle and we're going into our teddy bear stands, putting our knees onto our elbows and balancing here, pointed toes. This is a great preparation and first step to learning our headstand. Good, this next one we're gonna start in our teddy bear stand and we're going to bring our knees and feet together into a tuck position, lifting our hips as well and we're lengthening through our spine. Our weight is balanced throughout our hands and our head. We're not putting all of the weight in our hands, not all of the weight in our head. This next one is the next transition. We're gonna go into our teddy bear stand to start finding our balance, using our core to pull up into our tuck position, and then raising our legs nice and slow and together into a full headstand. To come down, we will then just reverse that. Again, we are lengthening through our body and we're lengthening even as we're coming down here. You see as my spine is lengthening through and coming down and finishing tall. Here we're going to go up into our full headstand from our tuck position, so we're skipping the teddy bear stand stage. So we'll keep working on those teddy bear stands and then going up full until you feel comfortable to move on. This is a demonstration of how you can get up through a split if you don't want to go through your tuck. I recommend learning through your tuck first so that you know that you're using the proper muscles and control. Make sure that when you're going up into your headstand that you are lifting into it. We're not kicking up into it the same way that you would into a handstand. I really love doing this press up. This really accentuates what I just said, that we're lifting using our core, keeping our legs in a nice pike position, lengthening through our spine, and it shows a great amount of control. Here you can see a couple different variations that you can do in your headstand. So I'm lifting up to my full. I'm going to bring my toe to my knee into a and then into a double stag position and into a single stag position. Here is something that you can work on if you want to have some more stability, we can go against the wall. So I'm gonna just go into my teddy bear stand against the wall. This way I know that I'm not gonna fall backwards or out of it and you can practice lengthening through our spine. Here I'm demonstrating the different progressions that we just went through. So we went to our teddy bear stand, we can go to our tuck and lengthen. Here is when the wall is great to work on our balance. You can touch that toe to our wall and try to balance. If you need to put your full weight against the wall, 